Hello everyone, this is Amar Kumar Ram. Welcome back to my channel. First of all, I would like to thank you for your supporting and lovely messages. After my this post, I received lovely messages from you, which was very supportive. Thank you so much. This is the introduction video on Angular library playlist. Why we are creating this playlist? Because before starting that micro frontend communication playlist, this will be a required one. So I decided to upload this playlist first, that is Angular library creation. And after this, I'll upload micro frontend communication playlist. So let's start with the code. First of all, we'll create an application because to create a library, we need an application. To create an application, we can run the command ng new and then the project name or the application name, which will be in our case, lib stands for library hyphen app, which means library application. You can give any name. Now here, I do not need any routing configurations. So I'll just press enter and say, n when it will ask for routing configuration so i'll press n and then i'll select scss as a style sheet format soon it will install all the necessary packages for our library this library will be similar to any other library that we use in our application that we install using npm or yarn as we can see installation has been done and in this playlist also we'll create a library and publish the same over npm artifact tree. as the installation has done we can open the live app project inside which we have source folder and other required files let's create the library project now to create the library project we'll run the command ng g for generate library and the library name which is data transfer in our case you can give any name of the library I am giving data transfer. Okay, so first we need to go inside the project or application that is libapp and then we can run the same command. It has created a projects folder inside which we can see the data transfer library project. Now how we can identify whether data transfer is a library project or an application project? For that we can go to the angular.json and here we'll get a projects object inside which we'll have two projects. One is called libapp that is our parent application and it is of project type application so it is simply an angular application that is libapp is an angular application whereas if i'll go to the second project inside this then we'll have a data transfer project which is of type library now we'll discuss in detail in the coming video so let's meet in the next video till that be happy take care signing off